Good evening YouTube. Been on my three down here. What I got up on the bench today is a little a scorpion built. This is a little rare thing. I think it's about the only thing I've ever built. The best of my recollection. Don't want to used to have videos put up, but uh this thing the uh, most I get out of it when it came down here was about 200 RMS, about 400 peak. Pretty good looking little amp. Just had a little few things wrong with it. Had, uh, instead of having two turns on this, it had three. And that's a little why I took out of it to shorten that up. Uh, the input to the one pill section, which is 2290 right there, uh, only had four wraps, so I put five. Uh, I had to retune it here. Output cap. Uh, let's see, it didn't have a diode on it, so I put a diode on it. Move the power wire from here over to here, get it closer to the uh, transformer. Uh, pulled this section up out of here. We was going to go a different route with it. Was going to go with the one driving four. But he decided he wants a whole nother box. And we're just going to leave this a three pill. Since they got it up and running so good. Uh, just. Uh, put new screws in it. Those are the old ones. It only had two screws holding the board down. One here, one here. I put six of them in. Uh, oh yeah, the input tune on it was the, I mean the uh, talk through tune was bad. So I had to add a cap there. Up out to the preamp. Preamp works real good. And uh, that's pretty much it. Didn't have to do nothing to the one pill section but change the wraps on here uh, change the input tune and everything's pretty much right now or oh, it is right let's hook a power up this is my little stock radio turn the 5 watt slug around show you what it does Oh, a little over four watts. That's all it does. All right, got the power hooked up, and on the input side, he had uh, some attenuation to ground <coughs> out of fifty ohms running through. Uh, for a little bit of attenuation, like I said, this ain't got no variable on it. Might ought to put a variable on it. I'm gonna talk to the owner about that. Move the switch over to here and add a variable to it so you can dial it in a little bit more instead of with your variable key. I don't know what he's running, but anyways, turn this nitrous switch on. Uh, let's turn this off. Talk through. Audio, audio, audio. Don't even move. It's 1.0. Turn your box back on. This is reflect going back towards the radio. You always got to check your reflect. So the coax comes out of this radio, goes around to this box over here. Which I could turn for either this radio or that radio. It comes out of that. Goes into my line section. The line section comes in and goes straight to the amp. Well, this line section here is this meter here. That's reading a reflect going back to that radio. The slug is in backwards. The radio is running that way. The amp is this way. So things in reverse. This reads anything going back to that radio. Alright, the amp is on. Indicated by a little light on the end of it. Oh, quarter watt. All right. 
output 1000 watt slug forward this is in RMS peaks off oh, oh, oh. let's turn it back up a little bit I got a noise cancel mic oh it's right around 300 watts bird peak side same thousand watt slug oh oh doing 600 everything's running nice and cool running a lot better now Got a feedback on that one pill section. I'll leave it. it. That's debatable whether it works or not. Some people say it do. Some people say it don't. I've done it with and without. But she's ready to go now. I cleaned it up. It's pretty clean. He done a good job. Uh, like I said, I think it's one of the first ones he built. Uh, just uh, one turn off there, one turn off here. It's pretty much all I had wrong. Other than that, everything else is pretty good. Uh, he had that output cap on it that was a little too high. Uh, input, I think he had around 75. It's two 150s. Uh, no, yeah, that was high, and he had the attenuation on it, and that's all gone now. I'll talk to the owner and see if he wants to put a verbal on it, and we'll move that around, and preamp still works. Print radio. I'm deaf. Can't hear nothing but a bunch of ringing in my ears. I don't even know how loud I'm talking, but uh, there you go. I'll fix up and ready to go. Doing what it's supposed to do. Y'all have a good one. Be number three down here in the Carolinas. Later.